Hi everyone, so new scrapbook collab for you today and this one is a little bit different. I'm doing a layout and sh kind of showing that you can do a scrapbook layout um, of pictures that don't have any people in it. So these two photos I took out of my bedroom window. We had an extremely bad storm here in the UK. I think it was around October time. Um, but I've only got around to just now scrapping the photos. And I managed to get some pretty cool shots just before um, the children ended up waking up because it was quite a loud storm. But I decided to play with some of my um, ink sprays for this one. These are both Dilutions ones. I, I think one's Midnight Blue and one's another one. I can't remember the name of it. But basically I sprayed quite a lot of ink on and then a lot of water. And I basically used my heat gun to move the ink around the page. As you can see there's quite a lot of moisture on this paper. Um, it does warp a little bit, but I do have a trick to stop it warping. Um, when you're drying it, you'll see me do it in just a second um, when I start drying it again in a minute. So I really love how this background came out. So again, I'm just doing this kind of water droplet thing um, and just blotting off some of the ink. And then I just dry it again. And what I do to help with the warping of the paper is I flip the paper over and um, heat the back so it kind of forces the paper to go back the other way um, I then have a bit of a foul so I use this um, Dilutions black paint and just kind of want to splatter it on the, the photos are quite dark in places so I wanted to put a little bit of black in the background as well and managed to just somehow create this huge black splodge at the top left hand corner here and I really didn't like this, so as I was just uh, decided to dry this, I used the tissue that I'd used to blot the ink just to kind of move, the, blot this around and just make it look a little bit like it's supposed to be there. It was a fail and it did look, does look a bit odd. Again, I'm um, stopping the paper from warping a little bit, but once the photos are on and they're backed, um, you can't really see it and the, this layout does end up turning out one of, one of my favourites. So kind of proves to keep going even when you have a bit of a fail like me. So I'm just backing these photos on some white card. These are just the off cuts. Um, the paper I'm actually using is some A3 card from Wilkinson's and I cut it down to 12 by 12 and these are just kind of the end bits that I use to back photos on. So I back them both on just some white card because they do get a little bit lost in the background without it. And then I think I clean my desk, which I do off camera. And then bring my layout back in and decide where my photos are going to go. So I decided to put this kind of darker one at the top left here, just because it goes where that great big black splodge is now. And then the more bluer one at the bottom there where I've got more of the lighter blues. So yeah, this storm was absolutely crazy. Um, I was obviously on my own with the children. My husband was on a night shift. It was about two o'clock in the morning. There was no way I was sleeping because it was just insane. And the lightning that was coming across the sky, I've never seen anything like it. So I decided to use this these word stickers, which in the January Love, Nutty Loves paper kit. And one of them said, wowza. So that's exactly what I was saying um, when I was seeing half of the, all these uh, lightning forks and strikes going across the, um, uh, across the sky. So I used some of the stars that were on the pack as well, and then these words that say far out, which I just think is <laughs> in, England, in the UK it kind of means like, that's amazing. I don't know if that means the same everywhere else. I used a couple of word stickers, and now I'm just going through some of my embellishments. Some of them are from old Lottie Loves paper kits, some of them are just from my slash. This, this is my enamel dots kind of basket that I have on my desk. I'm slowly trying to get these <laughs> down. It is kind of overflowed a little bit. And that's kind of about it embellishment wise. It didn't really need a lot, to be honest. I did try doing some journaling with my Uniball Signo in Broad, which did not work. I think it's clogged, it just would not work for me. So I decided to switch to my Posca paint pen, just because um, obviously a black pen would not have shown up. And just kind of journaled about the fact that I got some really good shots, and then just after this so that the kids woke up and we had a movie night which was kind of cool. I decided to just add a little bit of detail with the Posca paint pen whilst I had it out and then I go on to my doodly board and now this is a bit of a different doodly board it's more of a kind of dash line one I'm kind of trying to change it up a little bit 
but yeah that's that's pretty much done so thank you for watching this video guys and i shall speak to you all in my next one